Hello everybody, welcome back to Drunk Happy Gamers, and today we're playing some more Yakuza 0. Now on the last episode, we have displeased the gods of our Yakuza family, and they're, I guess they're not gods, but they're like lieutenants. Oh, we're into a fight already. And so now we have to cut off our little finger, as well as turn ourselves into the police. But we don't want to do that, we just want to beat more people up. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So we're going to go find the guy who did the thing that was the evils and appease those gods because they're dicks. So yeah, uh, and we finished that battle. That was a pretty cool heat move. Nice. Finished off with a heat move. Not bad. Oh, we got our CP as well. Um, That reminds me. I may have to go to the shrine quickly and upgrade our techniques or stuff. Uh, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Ah, there you are. That's the shrine. That's where we're going. Because we can um, get ourselves like a... I, I for, didn't know about this until recently, actually, which is quite embarrassing. But you can actually dash. And dashing is good. It gets you places faster. Hello, Mr. Clownface. Wearing a nice white suit. Hello, Bob Utsunomiya Zero. It's... Bob's Utsumiya Zero. Guess what I have for you. What do you have for me? Dragon of Dojima Pack. I think we can only use that after I've completed the game once. But we get a modified gun and we got a Master Ball. Pokemon, anyone? There it is. That's, that's so wrong. That's not a, 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 sh a thong, is it? Oh god. A Stone of Enduring? To change your outfit, use the phone in your hideout. I don't have a hideout. I have a I have a, a flat, I think. Yeah, something like that. But we get gotta go fast. Yeah, Sonic references. Love it because it is a Sega game after all. So yeah, gotta go fast. All right, we have three CP, so we can card watch or money magnet. This oh fuck, we haven't got enough. Okay, we need to throw, save up three CP in order to get that. But that's what we're getting first because we need lots of money in this game. Money is very important, as you'll see later on. And, well, I mean, you can already tell because we have to upgrade our shit. Like, we got this to upgrade. We've got 400,000 there, 400,000 there, 400,000 there. I think I'll go for some more health for now. That'll be useful. Okay, there is a pretty easy way to do this, but it's just you have to farm it. Spend a total of... Oh, we already got another CP. That's pretty good. We can get CP by entertaining ourselves and do that, so that's kind of grinding that I'll do off camera and maybe stuff like that. But yeah, here we are. We're at the Tokyo Credit. This is that loan shark's office. I don't know what they're up to. Better go and prepared. I'm ready. I'm ready to kick ass and take names. So let's go do exactly that, I guess. Take names of who betrayed me. Who was the dick behind it? Ah, a warm welcome. That's a very cheesy line, and I'm probably going to use it. Looks like you've been expecting me. I've been expecting you, Mr. Bond. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. I'm Kazuma Kiryu of the Dojima family. I just dropped by to thank the president for trying to frame me. The president has no interest in speaking with you, Kiryu-san. Well, I guess I have to change his mind by being you guys half to death. You alone against all of us? Yeah. I'm pretty much close to blowing a fuse at this point, so clear a path, you punk-ass trash. I know he's speaking behind it, but it's all in Japanese, so you won't understand it. Well, maybe some of you would. Anyway, I'm going to kill these guys. Yeah, take that, you fuckers. Oh, I didn't get the heat move. Oh, well. I'm, I'm just blasting this chair into his face. Oh, I killed the chair. Never mind. I need to get that awesome heat move. I just need to keep punching them until until they get dizzy or knock me to the ground. Oh, damn it. I had it. I had it, but I fucked it up. And he's dead now. Maybe I'll get it another time. There it is. I'll take the elevator. Where's the elevator? This one? This one. Okay. First room cleared. Oh, hi, guys. Didn't see you there. There we go. Oh no! It didn't do the heat move! What a dick! I'll, I'll try and stun this guy. Yeah! Come on! Boom! Fuck you guys! Oh, I love that move. I, I've only just recently learned how to do it more effectively. 
But, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, I need this. I need this now. Oi! Don't make me drop my ashtray, you dick! Punch you in the face! Okay, we ready? Ah, you want some. You want some ashtray into your face. Oh, it's, it's gone now. There we go. And that's that guy dead. Nice. A swift punch to the chops. Oh, and we're already here. At the office. Hello? Is anyone home? No way. Oh, he's got a gun! He's got a gun! The most threatening of devices in the Yakuza series and franchise. Talk about what? Don't waste time playing the fool. Why did you set me up? What are you after? You better tell him. You better tell him. Oh, even with a gun, he's not. He's not fucking around. I'll tell you everything. Just calm down a minute, okay? <laughs> Already spilling his guts. Just Kiryu's stare down. Right, and he set up. I just did what I was told. He said I should have you collect the cash there in the back lot. And who was it that told you that? It was... Ah! Oh! This guy! Obviously by the tone of his voice. Kuze, sir. No way. It was you? Of course it was. He wouldn't be here if it wasn't. What's that? What are we talking about, Mr. President? What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm trying to clear my name. And obviously you're in the way of trying to do that. Oh, shit. Oh. Took a punch to the gut. I knew I was getting soft. Back in the day, one punch was enough to strain out little shits like you. Hmm. Ah. The plot thickens. And can we do anything against this guy, though? Because he's higher up, higher rank than us. Take as long as you need. And obviously, this guy's gonna die now. Because he knows too much. That's that'll be our lead gone. Here, have a smoke. Uh, well, they're having a smoke. I'm gonna have a drink. I've got some Fosters here, and well, here goes. Nothing really to say about Fosters, really. Ah, <clears throat> uh, tastes like regret and. Teen anguish and angst. I'm glad we have this opportunity. I wanted to chat with you. No bullshit. You in Nishikiyama, your orphans, right? Grew up in Kazma's joint, Sunflower Orphanage, wasn't it? Yes. There's no shame in being an orphan. It's rare when Yakuza comes into an, from a normal family. Still, that Kazma's a cruel son of a bitch. Why? He takes in the kids that he owns them, then he owns them for life. He's got you and your boy Nishikiyama acting like human shields for him. You'd be willing to give your life for him, wouldn't you? That's some brainwashing kind of shit right there. Hmm. I'm not sure where you're going with all this. Neither am I. Oh wait, I am. He's a dick. Kuze's a fucking dick. What? I told you about the empty lot, right? I get that land, I'm next captain, so next in line, don't dream of family. But there's one piece of information I need in order to get it, and Kazma's sitting on it. Okay, information. He wants that empty lot to get better in the family, and now he'd do anything to get it. So he's coming to me. The Tojo clan's 25,000 men deep, and Dojima my family is one of the major players in it. Making the upper ranks here is no small accomplishment. As a bonus, I'll give you the guy who actually murdered your man. So it was you who set me up. Maybe, maybe not, but you can damn sure you're serving time if you turn this offer down. 
join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Or Yakuza boss and Yakuza underling. I want your answer right here, right now. Lieutenant Kuzu. Yeah. You think you're smart enough to control the board, but you're too clumsy to hold the pieces. You don't know a thing about me, and you sure as no hell don't know about Kazmatan. And he leaves. Cocky little shit. You're gonna make an enemy of me? You think you're ready for what that entails? I'm ready. If I weren't, I'd have no business calling myself a Yakuza. Ah, the badass line. <laughs> Fuck you, Kuze. I'm not taking your shit. And I have no idea if it's actually Kuze or if it's like said somehow differently in Japan, but that's how I say it. So you'll have to excuse me for any mispronunciations of. Hmm, that's my beeper. And it's beeping me. That's not a number I recognize. Who is it? Don't recognize the number. You just said that. It's not his number, but it's got to be Nishiki calling. I'll find a phone and call him back. Find a payphone! <laughs> I can't believe it's done that twice on me. Okay. Oh no! A fight! What are you doing? Why are you here? Okay, I'm just going to see if I can get that heat move going again. Do it! Punch him until he get dizzy. Oh, shit. I knocked him down. How about you? No? How about you? Oh, fuck. I knocked him down again. Come on. There. Oh, fuck's sake. It's not working. I don't know why he keeps doing a finishing kind of blow on him. But whatever. Ah, oh, this isn't working. Might as well just fucking do this. Have something cool at least. Rah! Face pla palm. I guess it's face palm. <laughs> it's not correct use of the terminology, but whatever. Anyway, let's go. And we need to find the payphone. Ah, no. I I went too far. It's it's stopping me with invisible walls. Well, I mean the invisible walls will only um will only stay here until we've completed the tutorial part of the game. So, they will soon be gone. Nishiki, anarchy person, help me. Help me in my endeavors. Pick up the phone. Hey, kiddie, it's Nishigama. Who are you trying to get hold of me? Where are you? Kazuma Family Office, Tenkaichi Street. Kazuma's office. What are you doing there? Talking with Kas Kashiwagi san. Well, he might be able to give us some advice. Kazuma san's right hand, after all. Makes sense. And it go on your side. You left the dojima office, right? There were some complications. Stop being so vague, kid you. I'll tell you when I see you. Okay, fine. At least he explains that part. Is there with Kashwagisan Kazma office, but get here quick. I think you need to hear what Kashwagisan has to say. Have you heard about the empty lot? Because he told me about me just now. I guess nothing gets past Kashwagisan. Kashwagi! Kishwiki-san! Okay, let's go. Then head to the Kazuma family office. As it just said. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, so at least we can run a bit more now, and so we can get there a bit quicker. But, I'll show you how long we can actually run for. It's not that far at the moment. I know, when, when he puts his head up, that means he's about to do this. Oh no. I got tired. A little Kiryu's all pooped. Okay, head over here, and we're almost there now. About to enter the office. There we go. We found it, and we've got and Kasawagi should be inside. And there's something in my eye. Oh, oh, he's got ramen. I want some ramen. Let me have the ramen, please. No. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll just have to wait until I get my ramen. I know, um, uh, I was about to say Wagamamas then. I know, um, Wagamamas do ramen, but it's not the best kind. If you've ever been there and you've ever compared it to, like, traditional ramen, it's pretty substandard, comparatively. Sorry, Kashwagasan, never want to make trouble for you. He's too busy eating shit. Um, sir? 
I'm a Zagorko. What? The fuck are you on? I'm glad you're okay. Nishikiyama filled me the point where HQ called you in. <gasps> Osamu Kashiwagi! He looks like a badass. Or a bad guy, depending on what happens in the story. I don't know yet, but... I think, I think, um... A plot twist is going to be that he's a big bad guy that I have to beat at some point. But I don't know. I'm just making a, a call here and now, but it may change. I carry you allegedly killed him to not the shot. Which means somebody framed him, of course. That's a relief. You can have told me that sooner, sir. This whole time I was thinking my brother actually off the guy. How dare you, Nishikiyama? You did not have faith in me, Kiryu chan. Nishiki. Fuck you, Nishiki. This isn't good, good Kiryu. Tell me everything Kuse said from the beginning. Repeat the story. Hopefully without involving us. I see. So three Lin Sans are all jockeying for Kazuma's place. Why is that the picture in prison? That's crazy. Nobody but Kazuma-san could hold Hackett as Dojima captain. Calm down, Nishiki. Back to the empty lot, Kuse mentioned. You boys are only just hearing about it, right? Yes. Kashiwaga-san, do you know more about it? Yeah, there's a big redevelopment project in the works involving a chunk of Kamurocho. Dojima's had the three racing against each other to clear it all out in the tennis area so he can get at the land. I did hear about that. They've been buying up land and buildings owned by a bunch of different people to bundle it up all together and reels, resell it for major profit, right? Yeah, right. But amid all that, there's one tiny patch of land that nobody can get their hands on. And that's the empty lot. Indeed it is. I only recently figured it out. They bought up 80% of the neighborhood before they found it. <gasps> there it is. The empty lot that we've been hearing so much about. Although we've seen it already. So that last commentary, just just disregard that fact. It's a hell of a snag. You say nobody's managed to make a move on that lot yet. No. That's why. The owner's gone missing. They turned up now the price I've been... I've heard being thrown around is one billion, one billion dollars. Dun dun dun. Doctor Evil from Austin Powers. We didn't get the reference. That tiny lot could sink the whole redevelopment project. The Doja has already sunk ten billion plus into buying up the area. Oh crap, that's a lot. They can't go back now, even if it means coughing up a billion yen for postage stamp of a, of land. That the Kazma-san had some key piece of info they needed in order to get the land. I'm guessing it's who owns it. <laughs> what does Kazma-san know? I couldn't say, it's the first time I've heard of it. You figure it's going to have something to do with the missing owner, right? Oh yeah. What do you said? Who's the set Kiryu up to force him to get that info out of Kazma? Right, at the cost of somebody's life. You do realize the situation we're in. Kiryu is in the crosshairs here, so is Kazuma. They make Kiryu out to have murdered a civilian, and they can demand accountability from Kazuma. And that's only the beginning. Watch Kuze get the empty lot and become Dojima's captain. He'll drive Kazuma out of the, the family entirely. Drive him out. No way, you really think they could get him expelled? You can find a way, and with Kazuma in prison now, you can't stop them. Kazuma-san expelled. Why is he in prison, though? That's what I don't get. I want to know why he is in prison. Getting kicked to the curb after climbing all the way to the top. Most men don't survive that humiliation. Ex-Yakuza is a common phrase for the, in the obituaries for homeless suicides. Shit. But Kyu didn't actually kill anyone. We can prove he's innocent. They can use that to get Kazuma-san booted. The only way to prove that is to catch the guy who did it. Whoever he is, he's in Kuze's pocket. We can't make a move against Dojima Lieutenant. Pick a fight with the brass in our world and you're finished. But we don't do something, Kiryu will be get thrown in jail. If we act, he hurts Kazuma standing even more. One more wrong move for us and they'll have their reason to expel him. So what then? What do we do? Kashwagi-san? My essence and the empty lot can both wait. My to me right now is protecting Kazuma-san, and that's what I'm going to do. 
You have a plan? Yes, sir. I'll let this happen. I'll take responsibility for it alone. There's only one way to keep this coming back round to Kazma-san. Take responsibility alone? Just why are you planning, could you? Alright, back to one of these cutscenes. Oh, where could it be? I. I'll leave the Dojima family, effective today. Terminate my oath and retire from the Fuso. I'm taking care of this one myself. Once I'm out, I'll put pressure on Kuze and get him to hand over the killer. Oh, they'll kill me, will they? This is it, but Kuze's holding the Dojima family's reins right now. You think you can turn him down and walk away alive? Hmm. Shit's got real all of a sudden, guys. Holy crap. So it's either death, leave the family, and death, and maybe even more death that's coming. This is nuts. You see? Not gonna sit here and let them do this. Is he now? I don't care who's right. You're a man, kill you. Take responsibilities for your actions. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. Shit, that's a heavy scene. Get the car. Let me guess, he's going to thank him for everything. One of the reasons why I think he's still in on it, because he couldn't stop him from leaving the family. But that's just me. I've got an inkling to this thing, but I I I don't know. But anyway, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys, because I know there's a a whole massive more subplot coming up next, and I'm not gonna finish it. Fuck off! Get out of my way! Don't bother me, fucking drunk. Although he is my person. What are you doing? Get get away from me! Get away from my body! <laughs> okay. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked the episode, please stick your thumb where everyone can see it. And I will see you all in the next one. Why is there a bloody hand on the wall there? Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Yeah, phone booth. Ha <laughs> ha It's a phone booth. Drunk guy, I'm gonna. Oh, he's throwing up, I see. I think I'll just leave him there. Bye, guys!